welcome back to Taz's Wig Closet at Wig Studio One. Today I'm presenting a brand new style by Belle Tress. This is the shortest one I think they've released in 2021. This one is called Intensity. This is a cute, quirky, fun, edgy little style. Find out if it's for you coming up. I purchased this style with my own funds. You can find it at Wig Studio One. Please expand the description box below the video. I will attach a link directly to this product. You can look at more details, all the colors, and the pricing. At Wig Studio One, Beltrust styles are always an automatic 30% off at checkout. If you have any questions for us, please reach out to support at wigstudioone.com or you from any product page on the website, scroll down, hit the help button, to have the option to be connected with a live chat. So this Beltress Intensity, this is the shortest of the new releases by Beltress for 2021. For them, it's been all about the long styles this year. So this is really, really refreshing. Now, I don't feel like they just threw this one in there to have a short style. I think it was really nicely thought out. It's a lot of fun and will just hit the sweet spot for so many of us out there that really enjoy short, shaggy styles like this. I have it here in the color Butterbeer Blonde. Butterbeer Blonde is one of my favorite blondes by Beltress, and I like choosing it when I'm purchasing my wigs because this is one that I really feel like I will get a lot of wear from. And that Butterbeer Blonde is more neutral to cool in tone. You'll see quite a bit of like a dark sandy blonde with some cool platinum highlighting all of that on a light to medium brown root. So Bell Trust Intensity, let's talk about this. Um, in the manufacturer's photos, they display this wig on a mannequin head. And mannequin heads are very short and they're very petite. Um, it made this wig look like it was a lot longer than it actually is. So your front piece is only about three inches. And that's perfect. I feel like that three inches just comes right over the eyebrow. That's really a nice sweet spot for me for a fringe or a bang. In the back, there's about a five inch crown. That's enough to give you a little bit of a profile in the back. There's some layering here on the sides and all of that tapers down into a one and a half inch nape. Now I feel like the coverage is pretty good. If you've had some of the Beltrust styles with the one and a half inch nape and they fit you fine, this one fits uh, typical of the other Beltrust styles like this. So I'm gonna say like Clover or Cherry. The nape fits very, very similar. The hair scoops around the ear to provide some really nice coverage back there. Now this is also a style that has that creative lace front, which just means a temple to temple lace front left monofilament side part assembly. It's one unit with no seams. Let's take a look. Oh, it's done very, very well. So you can actually see um, where that lace front begins and ends here. And there's a lot of fiber spliced in there as well. So you're gonna have a lot of styling options there. And it's a very nice natural look from the front. It has some fine knots. And then you're gonna get the illusion of scalp anywhere you wanna part it along the monofilament all the way back to the crown. So the hallmark here are these layers, like this is a super shaggy cut, but those layers aren't just super short and kind of cling to the head. There's actually some volume here. There's some real possibility to just make this into something that you will really, really enjoy. We're gonna go through a lot of that in the styling segment. So all of these layers are texturized. That means that they're kind of thinned and taken down on the ends, okay? And I feel like the way they're sewn into the cap, it kind of gives it a nice windswept, quirky windswept look. And the fact that you've got those lace features, you can just wear it like that. It's super cute. It's got a nice little profile in the back. And what you will find is, and a lot of you have given me this visual that I just cannot get out of my head. <laughs> and that is, it does have a bit of a chicken butt in the back. You know, those fluffy layered feathers that go up the chicken's butt. <laughs> it's a nice round effect. Now what it is not is tired. It's not a tired style. This is fresh. This is alive and 
combined with the layers that are very similar in length towards the front, I think the longer layers in the front that kind of match the back really do work to modernize a, a cut like this. But it does give you a nice windswept look. I think that it is modern. The density is just perfect for a style like this. It's not too light density. It's not too thick density. It's enough that you can move, you can push these fibers around and get volume. You can also tamp it down in areas that you like less volume. It can just be an absolute mess if that's your thing, or it can look a little more smooth and polished if that is your thing. I personally love the option um, that this, this style gives to me. So the fact that these uh, layers are taken down so much on the ends, it kind of gives a wispy feathery appeal. This is the Heat Friendly Fiber by Beltress uh, that is present on that cafe collection. But like I say, I really love the fact that the layers on the front and on the top are a little longer. It gives me something to work with. In terms of permatease, you're going to find a little more permatease on this um, shorter style. It is not heavy and it's not thick and pillowy. It's just there's a little bit more at the, the base of the cap just to keep things propped up a little bit. You certainly cannot see down into permatease anywhere on this cap. I was outside a little bit in this this morning and the, it was very, very breezy and the coverage was amazing. Beltras has a knack with permatease. They, they really, really do. They, used it, they use it strategically and they really make the fiber do the work for the style instead of just propping it up with permatease. It's a lot of short little shaggy cuts on the market, you know, like I don't know, John Renault has a couple, Jazz is one that this kind of reminds me of. I just think it's a little more modern in its, in its cut. It's fun, it's whimsical, it can be edgy. You just have so much fun with this. If you're going out um, and you got the top down this summer, this would be a great little style to have. If you are riding a motorcycle and you have got your helmet on and off, I think this would also be a great style to have because it springs back into shape. So the messier it gets, the better it looks, and you've got that nice summer windswept look all the way around. Here's an inside look at the cap for Beltress's intensity. There's that lace front, left monofilament side part assembly. Very nicely done. Nice fine knots. You have a felted closed ear tab, lots of fibers spliced in. An extended felted nape with bra strap type adjusters. Now these adjusters, I had to cinch in nearly as far as I could to accommodate a petite average circumference. These that leaves these vulnerable to dangle outside of the cap if you're not careful. So you'll have to tuck them up in, sew them, tie them off, cut them, something to keep them from escaping the cap if you need a large adjustment like I do. Lots of wefting and lots of stretch. So on to our styling segment. This style is right out of the box. I simply took it out, shook it, applied it, didn't have to do absolutely anything, just swirled around a little bit to set the fiber free and uh, kind of lined it up along that part. That's all I have done. So this is the way it should look for you right out of the box. Now I can't account for certain variances that are possible, um, but this is the only piece in this style that I have to show you. Let's try with glasses. These are my sunglass readers by readers.com. They fit beautifully between the ear and the ear tab on this style. That is perfect. These 
This style will work beautifully if you're a full-time glasses wearer or just need some sun shades or readers occasionally. I hope you've enjoyed the video today. We'll see you next time on Taz's Way Closet at Wig Studio One.